so I told you I was going to the panel and guess who I found? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Today is another day in the life vlog. Today we're gonna be giving a lecture, a taste lecture. I don't know if you watched one of my previous vlogs. I think that was within in March uh, about the woman at Imperial, and they had wanted me to give a speech or a talk to some young girls. Well, that is happening today. So I found some lipstick. Uh, so I'm going to do that today. It's going to be about a 30 minute uh, lecture and I also have my work going on today and then there's a panel in the afternoon. So I'm going to take you along with me, whatever I can show you, I will. But yeah, that's what I get up to today that I think I know that's on my agenda. But yeah, stick around and watch to the end and give this a thumbs up. Oh, and where's my manners? I hope you have a great day and be productive after watching this video, of course. All right, see you and come along. Let's go have some fun and help out some kids. Inspire some kids to do things about STEM. All right, it's currently, is it half time? No, they're on Easter break. And these are the queues for the museums. I don't know if my kids will be enjoying those things. So that is the queue for the natural, oh wait, no. Yeah, that's the queue for natural history. It goes around the block actually. Quite crazy, if you ask me. But dinosaurs are there to be seen. So let's have an honesty minute, please. Um, recently, I've been feeling a bit anxious. Well, not a bit, but a lot. Uh, I have a lot to do and the time just isn't on my side. The year is zooming past. It was just the beginning of April. Today is the 16th, which means we're already past halfway through April. And things that I wanted to have done by last month are still on my to-do list. It's just a little bit overwhelming to think I thought that I would could finish my PhD in two years. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's just there's so much to do. And I need to make some decisions about whether to drop some stuff and just move on because I think what is getting to me is the realization that in exactly two years my funding is up and I need to get things done and I know two years sounds like a lot but when you're kind of testing things and having to develop things and you have to look at your timeline it's like oh but yeah I am anxious I'm having a bit of anxiety but we're gonna get through this. If you're experiencing this, we're gonna get through this. Just breathe. I'm gonna go put on a Pomodoro. I have an hour before my talk. I'm gonna do that. I've already practiced on the train for my talk, so that should be fine. And it's kids. Hopefully they don't have too many questions. But I will catch you on the other side. And remember, we can do this together, guys. We can do this. I am going to Sir Alexander Fleming, which is the chemistry building where they're having the event. And then they're gonna tell us which rooms we're basting, based in to give, yeah, which rooms we're based in to give our lectures. So hopefully I'll get some clips of what I'm doing, but if not, then I'll see you at the end of it. So this is the room that I'm lecturing in. So I just, I just got to the lecture theatre, they told me which room I'm in. Apparently the girls just choose whatever topics they wanted to discuss. Oops. So I'm just gonna log in right now and prepare. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm logging in to...
yeah so as soon i am logging into the computer so that i could set up for the presentation and hopefully it all goes well <laughs> I always find setting up projector systems in the rooms really like complicated, but we seem to be working fine here. I think I'm just gonna try to align this properly. That is not what it's supposed to look like. I guess you can lead my discussion and then I can just tell you what my work is about because you should know a lot from geography and stuff. So, well, that is finished. My throat is dry, but. I had to improvise a lot in there. <laughs> so when this was communicated to me, I don't know if I misinterpreted it, but it was never really corrected in our communication that they were 10 to 13 year 10. It's, I'm trying to say I probably misinterpreted this or it was communicated wrong, but I'll take the blame. Um, 10 to 13 is what I kept saying, that they were like young kids. And then these girls start rolling in. <laughs> and I'm like, they're not 10 to 13. They're fully grown kids. Turns out they're years 10 to 13, which is like form three. Form three, that's 14 and up. And I was like, ooh. So it kind of had to just improve or enhance the way in which I delivered because it was it couldn't it shouldn't it couldn't be as basic as it was because I was thinking that it was gonna be young kids and I have to like talk about the basics of it but we kind of just turned it into a discussion more and I guess I made it a bit more complicated at the end um, trying to tie that link to the social aspects and the SDGs and introduce them to the SDGs as we went along so hopefully it wasn't too bad for them but my my throat is dry now so I'm going back grab some lunch. And then more work. I think there's panel discussion this afternoon after um, participate in. I'll keep you posted. Oh, say hey, Mohammed. Say hi to my camera. Hi. Because you don't know that I vlog my PhD journey. But this is Mohammed, <laughs> our new PhD student. So you're going to be seeing him in the background no longer, just the empty board. But yeah. Good. Finally, somebody who's doing climate finance work as well. So I've got a buddy. And they have something here. Is it still recording? Yeah. This is my special. Oh, and he makes the office smell heavenly. It smells like you're going into like House of Fraser <laughs> or Gucci or something. But it smells good. <laughs> so happy. Like, y'all should just smell this right now. <sighs> it's fancy. The Middle Eastern people, they smell everything. Everything smells nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Days. Maybe I do it on purpose, but I'm heading back to the event. We're gonna have a panel discussion, I think. I'm meant to be on that panel discussion, I think. Um, I was talking to Yolanda and she said there's quite a few people that are supposed to be on it. So I'm heading back there now. A bit tired to be honest. I was trying to focus on some work, but I couldn't event, so I'm going there and. Round floor. Oh, look at that. So I told you I was going to the panel and guess who I found? Amina! <laughs> I, I was seriously fangirling when oh. I walked down and saw her sitting there. I was like, I really miss this place. <laughs> Do you not feel like... Oh, you're still here. I'm still here. I feel so much nostalgia being here. It's been like five years since I've been here. It's such a yeah, it's quite good university. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked right now having Aww. a good conversation with her. And if you don't follow her, please check her out. She is so much more professional than I am, but she's amazing. I'll, I'll link her channel down below. Yeah. So I don't know if you can tell my excitement, but um, 
I was so happy to meet Amina uh, because I watch a lot of her videos. A lot of her, but uh, I can't even speak. I watch a lot of her videos. Uh, she has really good tips, whether it be you are doing a PhD or if you are looking to go in, go to university, undergrad tips for undergrad and applications, etc. Really nice person. Um, yeah. So I said, as I said, I'll link her channel. And now I need to actually get back to being a PhD student, which is doing some work.